What's up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C, and I'm doing Be Mary Jane episode 7 of the finale. It could be also part 1 of the finale because it's two different episodes. Um, so I'm just going to talk about some of the highlights, or most of the highlights, and as much as I can, and just get this movie. I'd like to also thank all my YouTuber fam, friends, buddies, um, all the new and old subscribers. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button, like, share this video. And like I said, I just appreciate it. I just think, I can't, can't say how much time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of y'all. So let's get into some of the highlights. Um, first, it's kind of, you know, we dealt with some of the issues. Um, the first we dealing with Nisi and kind of like we noticed that Nisi has you know, suffering from low self-esteem, which is the reason why it just seems like she's so stuck on thinking that her worth is how much she can put it down, you know, whatever. Just basically as far as, like, her body in terms of just being proposition, just whatever the case is, whatever, um, is the way to go. And when she has said before, um, episodes or Linda Pot or something like that about how she felt you know, that she thought she was able to get on, um, get, um, get on, you know, by, and she can do a video like, you know, Kim Kardashian, and then she was thinking it was at a chance. It was always seemed like the only thing she was connected to was, like, sex is going to get me somewhere. Or sex is the only way, obviously, is only way she get attention from boys. And so, in her case, you know, first, you know, we got Mary Jane coming there with a big-ass, um, gift basket. And she's trying to basically, you know, beside, you know, I didn't end too well the other episode. And he's he somewhat told her off. Okay. And first, you know, she knocked on the, you know, she was trying to talk to her. And, you know, she she was like, you know, I don't want to get, get these little guilty big gifts. And then there was a picture, I guess, of them when they were young, um, when she was, um, when, um, Nisi was younger. And she was just like, remember you said you want to be a lawyer. And then, Nisi was like, well, maybe said you want the kids. Well, she was like, well, um, I, well, I got the, I got the house, I guess, and you, but based on other words, you got the kids. So she smiled, and then she had a cup of milk, you know, if it was, you know, a little, <laughs> um, we will negotiate, <laughs> negotiate, um, um, thing. And she ended up talking to her, and it was just so sad because we sometimes, we hear this, you know, with the shade thing of some people feeling they're unpretty. Because, you know, we still unfortunately have to do this complexion thing where people think or, you know, one shade is better than the other one or hair texture or anything. Or just feeling, you know, feeling like just not loving themselves, you know what I mean? Or sometimes dealing with self-hatred and or dislike or have low self-esteem. And Nisi admits that she feels, so besides, she was talking about besides that, you know, she knew boys kept coming back to her but she put it down. And she says she's glad that the father is Filipino because this child's going to be half Filipino, which means, you know, better so-called, I guess, skin tone. She's going to have, you know, good, pretty features, you know, you know, just because I guess the child is going to be mixed and she'll have better hair. And, you know, Mary Jane was like, you are beautiful. People pay for your face be gray skin, you know, and Nisi just feels like ah, you're supposed to do that because you're my auntie. OK, I expect thousands of things out of you because I expect you and you do is your uh, basically your duty is basically not to you're supposed to be there okay and she didn't Mary Jane was like oh uh, no that, that's true but I mean it's just kind of sad and that's unfortunate reality we still unfortunately we see to this day about people not you know people feel and don't love themselves and then she just said she had to accept reality of things, and, you know, it's just sad that Nisi feels this way, but it kind of, we see the connection with her. We still don't, now, we gotta wait to see what's happening with Pat, uh, Patrick and, um, the younger brother, which, if y'all seen After Buzz TV, I've seen, like, parts most of it with the character who plays, I think her name is Raven Real Life, and BJ, I forgot what the actor's name, sorry, y'all, but they were talking a little bit about why the one son name is why Junior, Paul Junior is the youngest son, but not the oldest, and he kind of hinted something. Well, I, will, I guess we'll find out later on, second season two, about why he was named Junior and not the oldest son. So, hmm. So, anyways, y'all, 
Um, she, you know, Nisi feels kind of most, but, you know, Mary Jane's trying to come her and she asks her to spend a night. And Nisi was like, well, I can take those, you know, guilt, the uh, guilt gifts now. So she spends the night and, you know, she talks a little bit before she's on the way to go. And, you know, like I said, they're on good terms now. And, um, and the mom is ready to go to the doctor's appointment. And we were wondering, you know, she first was going to ask Mary Jane, um, to take her. And Mary Jane's like, I gotta go to work. And the brother um, comes in right, I guess, maybe right not too long before it's supposed to start. And, you know, it's the thing is now since he's moved out, we don't know. I don't I don't recall, honestly, if y'all remember. But I, I don't think there was anything along those lines that said, you know, that, you know, where he where he stays at or whatever. Unless he stays with, but I don't know if Tracy stays with. Like I said, maybe to hopefully to develop, you know, these characters more. Um, and stuff in the sex season, of course. So, he's just like, it was funny, he had a box, and he had it, you know, where he gave mom's present, and it was a life alert necklace. The mom felt kind of offended, because she's just like, what the hell is this? This is with old people. What type of mess is this? So she <laughs> was just like, come on, she just was kind of frustrated by it. I guess when she thinks about life alert, she must think about the commercials, help, I can't get up. Because she's just like, you know, this is for old people and people stay alone. And that's what she, she maybe she's just that image in her head, you know, fall, I'm falling and I can't get up. And maybe that's what she kind of felt offended about or something like that, you know. But um, a little later on, just to get this scene out the way, um, fast forward, um, the youngest son was talking to her and she, you know, about how do you feel about the necklace thing. I mean, she doesn't give it back to Pat. She still has it on her, I guess. But you know, he was just asking how she was based on how she was doing, and she was just saying, like, you know, how she has to deal with all these effects of the medication sometimes, and, you know, but the medicine takes some of her hair, she's losing some of her hair because of it, and I guess the son directly gives her some type of, you know, some people have ever heard about using marijuana, uh, you know, it's legal in Colorado and stuff like that, blah, 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 and, you know, you know, stuff like that sometimes helps, with, you know, deal with the conditions because she says she likes the complications she has with the lupus and how so hard for her to walk. You know, just all the complications that comes with they dealing with the lupus. And she was just like, you know, I, I could never inhale. And he, the son was shocked, like, huh? And she was like, 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 oh boy, you don't know the type of whatever response. And he's just like this. Um, I know some people, know some people, know some people that can get you this stuff. Because first he's trying to say, you know, there's lollipops, brownies, um, stuff like that you can have. But she was worried about on account of, well, I might gain weight. Which later on we see, like, the way she, <laughs> that one scene, like, that, 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 that wasn't going. So he said he can give it, like, I guess, in a gram up or some type of granola gram or some grain type of thing and mix it in there. And claims he knows so many people because you know how... You know, obviously still dimming and dabbing, so it's the only way to work and uh, school and into work. And so going back to the main issue about this whole episode is of Terrence, which was the character Ludus Ludus played, um, I think about two episodes ago, that was exposed for forging, you know, stories about the prison system, even though it was kind of like in some cases, it can be said, it's like him basically forging information, and, you know, his whole career, you know, basically went down the drain, because Mary Jane, even though, taking me myself, I don't think she really wanted to do so, had to basically expose him, and do the fact of making words, like I said, because she is supposed to be his good friend, and so I think she's on the way paying car up, or something like that, or somewhere, on the way work. And there's all these news, you know, there's a couple of news trucks around and they trying to, you know, get into Mary Jane's car and stuff like that. Kara was like, you know, y'all get, get, get away and stuff like that. So Kara gets dark, is in the car and she doesn't know what the heck is going on. And it turns out that Terrence committed suicide. Okay. So they go in, I think it's a, I don't know, it's the same day, next day work and they play the tapes because recently, I think the same day, the next day afterwards, after hearing about they committed suicide, she actually does an interview on her show um, with the girlfriend. And, you know, the girlfriend tries to, because Mary Jane's ass, like, you know, it seemed like you seemed to do that. Well, why did you do that, you know, and stuff like that? Were you getting paid to do this and stuff like that, explosive information? And she's sitting here talking about this. She's just like, no, you well, you have to hear the tapes. I, I don't know why. I thought that maybe we're going to, like, play the tape or something like that a little bit in, in, in this particular episode. And she was like, even though, but she was she felt that she had to do the right thing, okay? Even though she said she was trying to also look out for him as well. And so, 
the team, you know, the news team, you know, boss and everybody else, whatever, it turns out Terrence's family, I guess, is trying to, you know, do a lawsuit. But they tried to, like, they were playing the, the, the news clip or whatever she had with Raina, which is um, Terrence's ex-girlfriend, um, to say, you know, like, you know, she, like, because, you know, they're trying to say Manary Jane did, did this, man, this, man, this is, you know, was had basically had bad intentions, okay? And she was very malicious about her intentions of trying to expose him, you know, just like, you know, bashing, you know, basically almost like slandering, just did this on some negative, like, file backstabbing type of stuff, okay? Um, and then they're just, here's their solution. They're telling her first and the thing that she cannot speak about the Terrence or whatever until after this lawsuit goes away. And they're saying like, okay, it'll be gone for, for week, uh, gone for a week, but right. So then, um, later on, something like that, Kara talks to her, um, a little bit later on. And it turns out their decision to be on the safe side, I guess until this carries over with this possible lawsuit, this, um, lawsuit. They're telling her now. That she, her, she's been telling me, you know, Mary Jane, of course, is this, which is understandable. And she's just like, you know what? Like, damn, first, I can't say nothing about him. And, you know, it's really a shock to her because, like I said, she was very good friends or, you know, good friend, friends or him, whatever. And just being hit with this news, you know. She had to find out about report, almost by reporters trying to track her down by what had happened. And, and she's just kind of been shocked. And now, also, too, they're going to have Mark, um, go ahead and be the, you know, replace, you know, they're postponing her show temporarily. And Mark, I mean, Mark is supposed to be two hours, you know, do she just slot this that Mary Jane is in. And so, you know, Mary Jane feels her, feels like Kara again is like looking out for self. Everybody's looking out for self and stuff. And she just feels kind of offended. So it kind of ends on that route. And um, furthermore, so we go to another scene that she's actually just behind the scenes or on the side while Mark is filming. And he's just like, you know what, how are you basically, like, how are you doing stuff like that? But he's like, you know, you don't have to be here, you know, get some shop, you know, get some fresh air, stuff like that. You know, you don't have to be there, you know, okay. It is okay. Okay. Stuff like that. And then when she goes, I guess a little shopping and stuff like that, she comes home and she proves our bag. And I guess all that build up of who's fighting, you know, about the terrorists and him committing suicide and everything else attached to it. Because also around this time, when she goes to visit her parent you know, at her parents' house, both Patrick and Junior, you might as well say, were basically watching so and they first was like she was like, No, leave this on. And they're watching somebody one side trying to, you know, justify that Mary Jane did, was not about attention. You got and you got this lady trying to say here like, you know, basically she's a backstabber and stuff like that and basically you know, destroy the man you know, destroy the man and his reputation, career, everything on account, you know, like basically she's just a backstabber and just probably wanna raise something like that. But just they're trying to make this, you know, Mary Jane appear like she is the enemy, you know, and not a, a loyal friend. And so, um, of course, it's made for good. So back, fast forward, when her mate uh, um, sees her, she ends up um, going to see, you know, you know, she gets a call for her, her maid comes because she ends up telling my friend dies. And she ends up also, by the way, I think, talking to her dad in between then, because like I said, sorry, y'all, you know, you know how I am with these notes. But I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going by track my head. Now, one time, because where everything was going on, she when she was talking to her father, which was at the parents' house, she just saying, you know, why do you need to talk to me about Terrence, uh, uh, the Terrence situation, stuff like that? And he's just like this. And then, you know, when he, back in the day, we stood together, stuff like that, and stuff like that. But in the end, the daughter basically, I think he calls her Paulette or Paulette. That's, I guess that's Mary Jane's actual name. She was originally named with a name, starting with a P2, but she changed, I guess, for the career purposes. I don't know if she, you know, legally changed it, but that's the name that she uses. So, um, you know, it's just up to her. And so, anyways, here's one of the, the, the things. When the after the maid's comfort, her niece is about to have her child or have surgery. I guess, I don't know if she has a surgery or something like that, but Lisa's got to perform niece's surgery. Okay, so she's on her way to the hospital. Um, the maid, like I said, turns out that she had a son. Mary Jane, I don't know how long she worked with Mary Jane, but she didn't know she had a son. And, uh... You know, she was like, well, so where's your son at? And then she said, he was behind me. I don't speak it much. So that was kind of sad. But anyways, so after a little bit after the baby comes through, she finds her niece. You know, niece stuck at the house trying to hold on again for Dante, right? 
and you know she's first trying to weigh the families around the son you know does this whatever got the napkin and the mom secretly eats this these graham uh, graham cookies or whatever the heck that she has from Rita. and already she <laughs> doing this little coffee and you know you know I get, you know yeah, whatever right so when this is all, I'm going to stay here till Dr. gets here. You know, the mom got to point like, okay, like, we're irrelevant? Seriously? Okay, just because, you know, she was like, had to complain. Well, Dante wasn't here. Mom was here. She was like, wait, okay, wait a minute. Now, okay, you know what? Forget, get her. You know what? She can have this baby right here. You know what I'm saying? We just live right here. She got the baby herself. And then she was like, okay, I'll go to the hospital. Later. Because, you know, also Patrick was first free. Because it's like, you sit here waiting stuff like that. You get some random doctor and they want Lisa to perform. It, okay? Um, so... She ends up going to the doctor, and Patrick and Paul pay a visit to Dante's house, right? Dante's opening the door, and, you know, they're like, okay, Nisi's about to have it with the baby now. She wants you down there. And he tries to slowly close the door because he's just like, you know, uh, oh, she don't need me there and stuff like that. And they, because mm -mm. the mom comes, you know, from the background, like, okay, who is it? But she was kind of actually, you know, not, you know, not like friends. She could have just like, what is this? Who the fuck people did in my door? But she was just, he was just like, you know, Macy, we need to talk to you, whatever, right? And you could tell already based on her response that even when she's seen them or you've never heard them or whatever, you know, she was like, okay, come on in. And we sat down and, you know, basically, I know, okay, you know what's going on, stuff like that. And then they get sense because mom just had like this, like, okay, um, what? And then they end up telling her, like, okay, um, Dante's about to have a baby. Your, um, your, Mark, your kids know each other. Dante's about to have a baby. And she just in shock, like, what? Huh? Or she would be special. And he was like, okay, obviously you didn't know. And then here go Junior, uh, Paul Junior, like, uh, you know what? He got two babies, by the way. She's even, oh, oh my gosh, but, because <laughs> she was just in so much in awe. But she did say, and uh, sometimes she was like, if this is your baby, you need to go to the hospital. But she just, was, she just like, Dante, but you can tell she was very disappointed. But, you know, she could have been like, you know what, get the hell out of my house, whatever. I don't know what the hell y'all talking about, whatever the case is. But he did end up going to the, to the hospital. Okay, so we got the mom, she high as heck. She eating some cookies and all some fast food, so, you know, that high is kicking in, you know, because Mary Jane was looking at the mom for a minute, because, you know, she all looking at the little shoes and looking at her streamers and like, ooh, isn't this pretty and stuff, you know, and that's when Mary Jane realized, wait a minute, you got the munchies, and they kind of just left it at that, and then you got a scene of her and dad were talking, you know, about just about kids, about life and stuff like that, and, you know, she just, you know, the whole thing brought up again about the whole, whole Terrence situation, and, you know, she didn't want, you know, her reputation to be, you know, like stuff to affect her family, you know, one of the type of things. But he's just like, you know, you're fine, stuff like that. That's that's not a problem. So, anyways, he, it, you know, she has baby cubs. You know, your Dante. She has Dante. Other little girls. I think Isabel, Isabella. I think it's the child's name. And you know, Dante. You know, because she comes. The former sir, she comes in. Which everybody's happy. The new baby's here and stuff like that. So it's just the happy scene. So, um. And I remember Paul Jr. joking around with Mary Jane Hope, her little baby. She was just like, oh, you're next. Here's another little random little funny scene. Uh, the mom was with Tra Tracy and Patrick, you know, the young star. She was like, you're an auntie again. And as you know, and the little girl was confused. She was like, yeah, I don't understand it. Or something like that. And then she was trying to get the best with Patrick and Paul's so and run upstairs. She was trying to get the baby to sit there and press the like alert button. And then they ran up there. She was just like, oh, uh, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen, but one thing that she said before that, she was like, is your mommy so mad made a little girl? She's pissed. I'm just like, oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, anyways, another scene is um, Lisa called her after, you know, the celebration of the news baby to see how she was doing hold up with the whole Terrence situation, you know, worrying about the whole Terrence and how everything went down. And she said everybody's been calling her. Even David had left a sweet message. And she know, of course, she's telling Lisa, do you think this is still a sign? And um, Lisa, you know, you know, Lisa, of course, turns out, you know, probably she probably ran and told her about how David kind of, you know, how he probably did her dance, how she felt heartbroken. So, you know, Lisa's like, oh, OK, maybe God's giving me signs or whatever, you know. And, <laughs> and but. She was telling, you know, she was saying, well, maybe it's a sign. Lisa was like, well, you never know, type of thing. And so, um, one of the last, well, one another thing, Cara talks to her, or her ex-husband or whatever, and they were just talking, and, and, you know, she actually loves her kids more than even the job herself. 
And because he said, you know, you he was trying to inform her that, you know, you're not a bad mom because, he, you know, the children, the boys might be living right. You still give them weekends, so don't think, like, it's something wrong with her. And he was just letting her know, like, our, we, our, our, our marriage did not fail because of our job. You know, uh, your, your, your job and career. He was like, you know what? It failed because we failed. That's how he's looking at that. So, kind of like they were sending good terms, and they were just talking and stuff like that. So, you know, that's how it goes. So, anyways, um, anyways, y'all. So, what happened was, is that, to fast forward, the last, like, two last scenes is that there's a lady on there who made this movie in the middle of nowhere. It was talking about the adjusting criminal situation, especially with, Afri I think, you know, African-American um, I think males especially, and then you know people just gonna see go see the movie, right? And Mary Jane decides, I guess I don't know if the lawsuit was still pending, but she decided to say something because everybody was surprised. Okay, thank you, and then she just let it be known, like how she kind of regretted sitting here and what she had done because right before she got a, a a package sent to her at her office, and it was a book that Terrence, I guess the last letter he sent before it was his book. And he said, you know, don't let the mistakes cloud the man ter ter uh, uh, Terrence. And it was something else, I think, down the bottom. But she basically there, they were frozen. I thought the producer was going to cut, cut their cut. But she was basically letting know, like, you know, she does mourn the, the death of her friend and stuff like that. And here she is thinking, like, you know, she felt some, you know, she, she just kind of wished it never went down the way it went down, whatever. But... You know, here she is, you know, trying to get the truth, the truth, but the truth is she was telling about we do need to do something about the, the justice system and stuff like that. You know, and, and Terrence wants her to carry on the mission as far as bringing remnants about this issue, like this one out of three African, uh, African uh, males, whatever, who spares prison. And, you know, we, you know, a lot of families suffer, whether the prison themselves or their families, you know, one of them type of speeches, like this is a reality check. There's something needs to be done about it, you know. And that's what she was bringing up awareness, like, you know, I'm not shut up my mouth. This is how I truly feel. I'm my friends, stuff like that. I didn't, you know, she decided basically did not trust stuff. But she was like, the reality is this is a freaking problem. The justice, the criminal justice system, whatever, you know, and stuff like that. So it was one of those type of things. And it turns out that when she did the speech, actually, everybody in the staff was clapping and stuff like that. First of all, Kara was like, oh, my gosh, she shouldn't have done that. But even, even her boss. But every, you know, everybody actually respected her when she said the comment, and it kind of like I guess now, uh, yeah, the lawsuit I think is off because she wouldn't had, <laughs> she wouldn't be back on the air, I guess. So yeah, so she was able to say her uh, piece and stuff like that. And um, the last scene, of course, is David pays a visit, and of course, you know, she's just happy, like you know, yay! I guess she thinks it's a chance. And he ends up asking Mary Jane, you know, I got a question to ask you, you know. Um, and she's like, yes, go, just go ahead and ask me. And he's just like, uh, did you steal my sperm? Oh, credits. <laughs> so it kind of ends at that note. I think, I don't think I missed anything else too much, whatever. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. I think I pick up everything. So yeah, y'all, this is <laughs> this is um uh, I guess it's the end of my um part one slash episode of this view being Mary Jane. And y'all have a pleasant week and pleasant that um pleasant night when I definitely saw our next video. In other words, I'll see y'all in video two was actually the real reality. I actually recorded that and watched the first that episode eight before episode seven. So if y'all had time to feel like it and like I say, if you're a new newbie, um or a uh, a new Hope uh, uh, if you like what you see, go subscribe, like, share, read my videos. Thank you for everybody, my YouTube fam, all my subscribers, all the support I've been getting. Thank you, thank you all. I love y'all all. Hugs, and I'll see y'all the next one. Take care, everybody.